Okay, I was being a big dumb dumb and I accidentally hit the record button again, so that stops my recording. Yay for me, but good thing I noticed. You guys didn't miss too much. I got the second piece, which was in the washroom. Or the wash closet is what it is what WC stands for. I don't know. Anyways, this part kinda makes me mad right here because you're you're in a cursed school and you're supposed to find the treasure's number, you know, but then Juan's like, wait a second. According to the map, the fourth treasure's not far or right outside the school building. I should find it first to save time. You know, usually in a treasure map, you'd want to find the uh, treasure, you know. Oh, save. I actually don't really have to, but it's not really needed. Um. I also don't know why there's these new lights here. Like, they're just random. But yet, yeah, I can do <laughs> it. What was that? Focus. I shouldn't be distracted now. I need to look at this. No? Right. Oh, okay, this one. That says the treasure is here. But isn't this an empty field? Strange. Or is it hidden in this room? Let's break the window and go inside. Don't know why a pin is the treasure. Yes! I got the treasure. There's only one left. I'm left in the music room. I don't know why that part makes me so mad, but something about a cursed school and you not following directions accordingly kind of just doesn't make any sense. So that's, just, that's just my input on it. But, you know. Did you guys- oh, it was the bird that was like, did you guys just see something moving on the rooftop? This game is very dark, if you hadn't realized, and sometimes you see little shadows moving in the darkness, and so you're not sure what it is. <laughs> sometimes I press the action button on that door, and usually you don't have to. No, this is, the, this is also really creepy. No. Treasure is the piano. This part also didn't really make sense to me. I can't move right now, by the way. It's normal. Treasure opened up by the key. here this time. I can't move still. Oh wait, I'm moving it. Oh, okay. I guess. Yep, yeah, now we're just gonna wait for our, um, hopes it dies. Maybe? Ugh. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I love waking up. Because it wakes me up. Remember this area? Or that or that little skip that just happened? What just happened? There's no time to think now. I should taste or I should <laughs> taste. I should take the treasure and return to the library. 
It took like it. Okay, this could be what I was looking for. I don't know what I was doing. I'm gonna go for it. Let's go back to the library. Oh, earlier the girl took the candle and like, placed on the table. Let's do some sort of light for a nice little corpse. reading up on this game when I was playing it and there's actually a lot of multiple endings from what I've seen. Did I pass the library? I don't want to go there right now. Okay, yeah, I think this this one's the library. Alright, yeah, it is. Sweet. Let's see. First treasure, rope. Second treasure, the calendar. Third treasure, the diary. Last the pen. What does all this stuff mean? The diary. It could be the answer. Then, I think this is the next chapter. Yeah, it is. And I literally don't do anything. It's all dialogue, but I'm still going to read it. It's part of the game. It's important. and murky rains, the sun eventually shines. In my cloudy days when they miss school. To me, every day is depressing and time goes by so fast. A life without purpose is tasteless and boring. Today, a girl and an old man came to school. Just one look and everyone knew that they were part a pair of wealthy father and daughter. student. Hello, my name is Thuy, I think is her name. I'm looking forward to... Alright, take your seat at the end of the classroom. Class, be still. I'm going to check the time the timetable for next week. It won't take long. Hey, you're not from around here, are you? Yes, I'm from Hatton City. Not far from here. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I'm sorry if I did. Why'd you transfer here? School wasn't good enough. It's not that. It's because my parents got a divorce. So I am in Dorsland. December 5th, new student. Seems like everybody ignored her. From the night, students uh, standing atop the school building started leaning down and she fell. Both of her legs broke, bones punched through the skin, blood gushed out. Never thought this way of suicide could cause such a horrible death. December 10th, everyone seemed to forget the whole thing, but within a day? I have the feeling that people around the school are heartless. Today at the library, I found a strange painting. It felt like it was looking at me. Just found a secret room behind the mirrors. It's bad. I was looking out from the windows. Of the I walked back through the glass and hit my eye hard. It was blurry, but I thought I saw it. her. It's like they were facing the glass. Every time I give it a glance, I see another shadow. I see her version. Is she the one who made my eye like this? I can't be sure of anything. December 14th, another student dead. They say he used a pen to pierce through his ears. More terrifying, he laughed crazily before he died, even after he died. Still, just like the first time, everyone kept ignoring it. I don't know if they really ignored whatever happened or if they were simply too terrified to talk about it. But in the end, why did any of this even happen? I don't think the deaths are coincidental. December 15th, I'm in the secret room I accidentally found out. Here I found a page from a calendar of this with a young man written on it and a pen on the table. So I circled the dates of the deaths 9, 11, 14. I think everything happened for a reason. Right then, there was a scream. I ran to the classroom in panic to check what was happening. Another death? No, not just one. The number increased. Jeez.
there was a crazy thought in my mind about the reasons for these deaths, 9, 11, 14, 15. I decided to spend the night in here in the secret room. At the school, the night passed by in silent, strange silence, and what's stranger than silence is, I'm not alone. New student, Chloe, was standing at the secret room door, and then she opened the mirror. <laughs> now I can be sure of one thing, all the misfortunes they started to I heard her steps come closer and closer. If I made it into the closet opposite the desk, I often used to write my diary. Just covering the head with fear and anger, the two emotions blended with the other inside me. When I woke up, she John and December 23rd, more deaths. I think she killed them all. Why doesn't anyone else suspect her? Why just me? 9-11, 14, 15, 23. December 24th, right now I'm at the library. Many students and other classes have transferred away after seeing the deaths. The school has gotten dark and gloomy. I don't want to be here any longer. I want to get out of here. But then... March 13th. A new semester has started and I don't have to care about that school anymore. It feels so good to be out of that Copesfield school, but I'm also sad because I won't see him anymore. March 14th, and I am going back to that school and leave everything involved along with the sins I've committed behind. I don't want to have anything related with that haunted place. Everything I've taken from the secret room, I'll hide them at different places where they will never be found. I thought that's the idea. Still, I'd hope someone will discover all of it, though, despite the fact that it's a very dangerous thing to be done for now. And if my wish ever came true, I'll gladly take the consequences. Then, goodbye, Stormy Days. Or Link. I think it's... It, it, it could be either one, honestly. <laughs> Chapter 6, The End. So the girl mentioned in the diary is the one who's behind everything. I mean, she's the reason for the curse. It's still very confusing. The secret room could be the last piece of the puzzle, the last clue to bring everything to life. Okay, so I'm gonna... The door. It's locked! My key! Did I drop it in the backyard? What did I do? Somebody's outside knocking on the door. Hurry and finish this game. Yes, it's unlocked. Just bring the church along and that. said the secret room is behind a mirror. A red arrow? There are more over there. <sighs> Could this be that girl's play or just a normal person's? Anyway, I'll finish what I've started. There aren't really a lot of decisions to be made here, to be honest. On. Oh wait, it says gone. <laughs> what? 
What? This place is supposed to be the storeroom. Apparently it's not. Oh no, my eye! <laughs> my eye! And now we have to go to the infirmary. What? What's happening? I've just... Ah, my eye. It hurts. The infirmary. Let's hurry before my eye. On this side of the uh, this uh, it's on this side of the like, map. On the left side of the map. All right, here we go. There. This is much different than what I. Huh. Seems I end up in the same place, anyways. It's perfect. True. Huh. When did you wake up? You've been unconscious for a while. In the end, what's this all about? What's going on? Another student brought you here. I didn't recognize his face. I'm only familiar with the, with the sicknesses. <laughs> but he said you see Sang at class 10A. It seemed very busy then. So Sang brought me here. Last night, that guy knocked me out. But why? I think you should meet him and thank him. It's getting late now. I wonder. No, I can't. Where is he? <laughs> believe saying is right here. Yes, so you can you come climb. You're the one who took me to the infirmary, aren't you? Then did you see what happened to me last night? All I saw yesterday was you out cold on the floor. Nothing else. Well let's put that aside for now. I have something more important to say. It's about the curse. In this place, you saw strange things last night, didn't you? Things. What things? You saw the illusions. Illusion? You probably didn't know the strange phenomena at the school. They're all illusions. Yes, although they aren't ordinary illusions. They're haunted ones. And worse, you've fallen victim to them. If you don't die in another illusion, in another's illusion, then tonight when it hits 12, you'll die physically and mentally. We were lucky when we got killed in each other's illusions. <laughs> <sighs> my ouch my legs is she dead or saying wake up she's dead no he's seeing an illusion <coughs> hi did I just see yes let's go before it happens again we still have work to do <laughs> that's the story Oh yeah, I think I also saw an illusion last night. I remember when I was following Red Arrows, the scene suddenly changed. A stone hit me right in the eye. Even now, I still remember the pain it caused. But when I had got the first aid kit uh, and had ready, prepared to aid the bleeding eye, jeez, everything turned back. <laughs> he can break free from the illusion by himself. Then what's that mean? Maybe that was part of the illusion too. Even the guy who chased you. How did you know someone chased me? Just a wild guess. Anything can happen. But maybe I'll hand in the transfer. 
the weird gas and things at the school. I can't take them any longer. If you say so. My family plans to move away this weekend, so I can't keep studying here anymore. Even though I know I haven't been here a year, so it's okay. I can understand your circumstances. Let me get you uh, your school repair port. It won't take long. Yeah, this is a different ending than what I got. Strange. Ten minutes later. He hasn't come back yet? The diary? What? Why is it in the headmaster's office? Maybe that's part of the illusion too. Even the guy who chased you. Anything can happen. You get your school report. It won't take long. Not good. Let's get out of here as soon as possible. Hey, Claude. So you know the secret of the school. So I can't let you go bad easy. My mission is... A murder! Keep the secret of the school. So what ending did I get? This is really weird. I haven't seen this part yet. I'm so glad I took this ending. I don't care if it's good or bad. Or mutual. Oh, I got another bad end. Dang. Alright. Well, that's been seven mysteries. I mean, there's credits with... Okay, or there's not credits. So yeah, this was a really cool RPG horror game. Or wait, yeah, there are. Anyways, yeah. So, um, I really hope the mic recorded on this, because I really don't want to go back and play it again, but, uh, but, I mean, it was fun playing it again so I could see the other ending. I think the other ending was much better than the first ending, honestly. If the first ending, you go to the mirror with Sang, and then he kills you. Yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like, and if you like all my videos, why don't you go ahead and subscribe. It really helps me out. Um... So I'll see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.